Hi, my name is Paloma Herrera, and I'm going to be talking about gender communication. So according to the book, gender communication is a social construction of masculinity or femininity as it aligns with the designated sex at birth in a specific culture and time period. Um, as, as the book says that gender is socially learned and it's a constructed enactment of what it means to be a man or a woman. We are generally born as female or male, but we are taught how to be men and women. Um, since gender is socially learned, there is a process for it, which is called gender development, which consists of psychodynamic theory, symbolic interaction, social learning, and standpoint. Um, psychodynamic theory sees the role of the family as how child children um, develop their gender. For example, um, mm, ch children are more, most likely to compare themselves uh, with their mother and this is how they identify, identify themselves as male since they have different the physically they see they see themselves different of them and how they see how different the father is and the mother and this is when they identify their gender. Um symbolic interaction is more more focused on communication which is for example when um females are told to be uh, sit down correctly with their legs closed or crossed um, it's more to be seen as a woman and to be respected while men can sit comfortable and still be seen as a man as a man uh, social learning is when children see a social behavior and they're most likely to imitate it for example when they see men giving attitude or just keep taking out comments then this is when children uh, learn that it is right for them to do it except girls because that's not how a girl is supposed to be talking or um, um, or sitting down or anything they're doing so there's more expectations for a woman to be doing um, to be considered a woman and to be respected standpoint is is most um, based on culture so when when you see upper class families you see more opportunities and how they have everything planned out and they have a lot of um, opportunity given to them. So for example, uh, if you see someone in a private school, you might ask, where are you going to college? While if you see a student in a public school, you might ask if you're going to college. This is how different they uh, identify. Um, gender can also be represented by artwork, fiction, and public policy. For example, a gender reveal, uh, pink is used for uh, a girl and blue or any dark color is used for men, for a boy. Um, this is how you identify the sex giving at birth but as gender communication says um it is to be taught how to be men and women so it could be a girl but they would identify themselves as men um gender communication is also different on how females and males uh, can communicate um for example 
their facial expressions. Men use fewer facial expressions than women do, which includes smiling. Um, men talk with more of a serious face and straight to, to a point, while women are are to be given more facial expressions when they're talking. For example, they they try to be more friendly, they change their, their voice tone, and it's a whole different way of communicating versus men. Another way that they communicate different is with their touch. Women are, are to reassure someone that they're listening um, and they build a connection with touch, such as touching someone's arm for support. Men are more are less likely to do that. They will give you a patch in the back as to show support and that's it. Uh, another way is by eye contact. Women use eye contact to connect with the speaker and they are most likely to to show to show them that you're engaging and that they're listening to you while men avoid eye contact. They're most likely to close their eyes or or look somewhere else and give the expression that they are that they are not listening, but that's how they show when they when they're talking to someone, they're most likely to look down um and stuff like that. Um so that's it for gender communication. I hope you understand more of how gender communication is important and how they focus on it. And thank you for listening.